In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the revolve function a couple different ways in Onshape. So I'm going to create a sketch. I'm going to place it on my front. And again, I'm going to grab my line tool. And whatever I'm going to draw here, I want to draw it from the side profile view. So if we can just take a look, I can create a side profile drawing of whatever my part is, as we can see there. So again, this is just a side profile. I can come up to my revolve tool. Uh, I've selected this face. I'm going to select the uh, center axis, and it revolves it around that point. Now you can also see in the drop down menu here, I can do uh, uh, one direction revolve at, at 30 degrees, 90 degrees, or whatever value I want. So if I only want uh, a 90 degree revolution, I get a quarter of that part. A symmetrical would be in both directions, or we could stick with the full revolution. So that's one way is just by drawing using that side profile view. I'm going to hide this part here. And again, I'm going to create a sketch on the front. This time, I'm going to draw a shape. And we can see I don't have that uh, line to revolve it around uh, in that side profile view. What I can do is I can create a line off to the side. So now that when I click my revolve, I have this face, but I'm going to revolve it around that center axis here that I've created. And what you can see is Choosing that center axis, it revolves around that point, leaving a hole in the center. So if I was to design a cup or you know, a wheel type part, this would be a valuable tool. Now it just doesn't have to be, I'm going to hide that part again, a simple part like that. So I'm going to do a sketch again, I'm going to place it on my front plane, and I'm just going to draw this eye shape really quick. And the reason I'm drawing this shape is just to show you what happens when we revolve a little bit more of a complex design around a point. Now again, if I was doing this for my own sake, I would obviously uh, design something with dimensions and with purpose. So we can see I have that sketch there, but what I have to do is like previously, I have to give it a, a axis to revolve around. So now I can come to my revolve tool. Again, that face is automatically selected. I'm going to select my revolve axis. And what we can see is that profile face that I've created now created a little part with a little bit more detail. Uh, different size uh, circles uh, that are revolved around here. So again, ways to make wheels, bearings, uh, anything with uh, curved or circular aspect to it. And again, remembering in that revolve menu, I can change the degrees if I only need a portion of this, if I don't need a full revolution as well, maybe I needed a half revolution. So that's always. So again, this is just another technique, uh, another tool to use as you're coming up with your designs to making them uh, work in on shape.